What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is a Cube Draft. I'm your host. Check out HelloFresh. Free meals, free shipping, good deals. Support your content creators. It's right up there. You can uh, use the link below. And the promo code, which is also in the link below. Be sure to check it out. Helps me out a ton. They get a they get a great kickback for your for your favorite streamers. And I feel like we've been opening significantly little power this uh, this cube season. I don't know. Maybe it's Gristlebrand. Let's take the good cards this draft. Uh, I don't know. They're asking a lot of me right now. We could also take Echo of Eons and maybe hope for like a Shieldred or a Leovold or something. Mox Diamond is good. I, I don't disagree. Thank you. See, Donkey, thank you for the resub, buddy. I want to take the Echo, and we're going to try to do some broken shit. I'm going to be honest. I've seen Channel, like, wheel and go last pick numerous times during this cube season. And I still want to take it, because I just love Channel. What do we take if not Channel? Thank you. Paladin Yegan, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Sea Donkey, appreciate you guys. Oh, Sea Donkey with a gifted sub. Appreciate that as well. Because it's the same. It's all the same. I think I'm just taking the channel. It's just too good to like, it's too good to pass this early. Okay. Courser of crew fix perhaps? Woodfall Primus is not exactly a channeler. This <laughs> is 2006. Thank you. More like 1994, am I right? Oh, Big Lou. Oh my God. You big piece of shit, you. <laughs> oh man, appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I'll take the Courser. You know what? I'm an absolute disgusting sucker. Is Steel Seraph good enough? I wonder. I know Treachery is. Let's take a Treachery. Maybe? Mm, maybe not. God. I don't even know what's going on with this cube anymore, man. Look at this. Channel. Tra Look, the hops. We got the hops, boy. Hopsy baby. Doug Exeter, thank you for the sub, buddy. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. You're welcome. Look, all these green fetches. I'll take this teamer one. That seems nice. Or do I take the Sultai one? Or do I take the Pest Infestation? I think it's Pest Infestation. Oh, Warm Coil. See, Warm Coil is pretty good with, uh, with Channel. Are we trying to be green blue or just green? That's the question. And it really depends on what kind of fixing we get. Oh, Sylvan Library. I was going to take the Timeless Lotus, but I think Sylvan Library is just better here. See, I took the Echo. I was like, let me try to break out a little bit. We'll try to do some shenanigans. And then you know what happens? We get past the channel. Waterlogged Grove is nice. I like the bayou, but we don't have any black and we do have blue, so. If this was a tropical island, it'd be a lot happier, but, you know. What can you do? The lands deck is surprisingly fun. I agree with you. I don't disagree with you. Uh, I do like a Hex Drinker. We could also, you know what, I would even channel to play. I would I would go turn on channel, 
or turn turn one hexstring or turn two channel to to make this guy protection from everything. Winter orb. It's the only thing I can consider even playing in here. Woodfall Primus comes back. That's a good feeling. All right. Well, God, Luis always drafts Storm, and I always draft big, fat, mono green. Mm. I'm going to take Steel Seraph here. It's another, it is another channel target. Target? Do we want to call them targets? Enabler? Oh, sweet. Pack two Mox Jet into Sultai Big Stuff. Calling it now. Yeah, we'll see. No. No power whatsoever. And no big fat idiot artifacts either. What a what a disappointing pack. I mean, for us it's like Metamorph, carry added, Whisperwood. I think it's, I think it's Metamorph here. Not only can we uh, cast it for the the blue if we if we play blue, but we can also channel it out for three. Actually, it's like five <laughs> to channel it out because you're taking, you know, you guys understand, five life to channel it out. We do have seven more chances. That's true. And then 15 more. So really, 22 more. Tinker. Tinker, tinker, little stinker. We're not really a tinker deck, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, Kodama's Reach might be fine. It's unexciting, but... I mean, is is the possibility of Tinker more exciting than just playing Kodama's Reach? And, and probably, because you do have Worm Coil and Steel Seraph so far, so it's not even terrible. And there's a Nugan, which is exactly what we wanted. And honestly, nothing else great in this pack. I, I do like Mystic Confluence, but I don't even know if we're blue yet. So we're definitely taking the Nugan. Also, Pest Infestation is pretty decent with Channel, because you can just literally make... 15 tokens or something ridiculous. Uh, you can never make an, an odd number of tokens, so it's very strange that I picked that, but you get the point. So we got Regrowth or Riftwing Cloud Skater are really our only two options here. Uh, it might be just, just be Regrowth. Especially if we get Time Walker Ancestral at any point. I'm going to take the Regrowth. Oh, yeah. Draga Tree Speaker. It's been a while since I've played a Draga Tree Speaker. I do like Thran Dynamo. Are we a plow under deck, though? That's a good question, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two cards are coming back. I'm not sure. I, I, I think plow under might actually come back. I think I'd just rather have the ramp card. You know, just in case. Uh, Thank you. Actually, I'll take a Thieving Skydiver. I'll, I'll lean into that blue. Ulamog? Beautiful. That's what we want. We're going to make this channel come to life, buddy. Oh, Spaghetti Toucher. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Good to see you again, my dude. Hey, the Whisperwood Elemental came back. 
Exile up to two cards. This card seems okay, does it not? I don't actually know. Is it great? I'll take it. What the hell? Is it? Do you main deck it or do you just sideboard it? I don't know. Who knows? Who has who has ideas here? Who knows things? I'll take this inkwell specking on Tinker some more. Oh, retrofitter foundry. Okay. If you got a lot of mana, retrofitter foundry could be pretty good. You could main. You could also not. Well said. Well said. That's what side decks are for. Went 201 with Goblin Storm in draft yesterday. I assume that is uh, Dominaria Remastered. Oh, Riftwing Cloudscape comes back because no one has any respect. Okay, let's see if the last two are Scavenging or Plow Under. What up, Cabalin? Plow under. <laughs> Beautiful. And Yorion. That's fascinating. Also, I just wonder how many decks like just get just get wrecked by a an unlicensed Hurst. Ooh, a mock sapphire. And a soul ring. Fudge. Why do they do this to us? Oh man. God, we're passing a mock sapphire, but it, it is soaring. Like, <laughs> let's be serious, y'all. Noble Hierarch is great here. We did get that Renin six. Um, maybe the mox tables. Yeah, actually, maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> Emerald would be snap pick. Soul is greater than um. Yeah, that might be true, actually. I, I think I agree with that, because Emerald does allow us to turn one channel or turn one Sylvan Library, things like that. I guess so does Sapphire lets us turn one Sylvan Library, but... Anyway, I'm taking this Noble Hierarch, because... Obvious reasons. You don't like the Soaring printing? This is actually the one I use in my cube now. The reason being, it's the only retro frame outside of, um, it's the only black border retro frame outside of like beta. And until I pick up a beta soul ring, which I have not done so yet, um, it's just not, I, I'd rather, I have a collector's, I had a collector's edition in there and I'd rather have a regular magic soul ring instead of, I was thinking Urza actually. <laughs> um, we don't actually have a lot of ramp though. So I was actually wondering if all of Roots was the play. We only have like Tree Speaker, Soul Ring, Noble Hierarch, and literally nothing on two. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this guy. Uh, it feels... Oh, Rafelos. Okay, cool. I guess that's... I guess that's what you're going to give me next. That's, that makes sense. Here's the Botanical Sanctum. Which I think is probably better than Tri Builder. That's okay, Urzel, Urzel, Urzel table, I'm sure. Just kidding. Mesmeric Fiend looking long. What does that even mean? Uh, pack one, pick one was Echo of Eons. Because we were like, you know what? Let's do something crazy. And then pack two was Channel. And I was like, just kidding. This is 10 power, right? Am I, am I crazy? Mm -hmm. 
I have not played this card, but I kind of want to. And it's a lot of power, man. Let's be real. Suspicious Stowaway, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I don't think we're tinkering. A tireless Tracker is good, you're a lot of power. That's fair, that's fair. La Pizza, oh man. <laughs> what a what a gaudy, what a true gaudy. Why do people call that Grave Titans? Uh, I think, uh, wait, what, really? It's a six six that makes two two twos. And then when it flips, it does the same thing as, I can't be, I can't, I can't be sure if you're trolling or not right now. I think it's Tracker. We have a lot of two drops. Oh, I like a Questing Beast. Questing Beast just, just gets it done, you know? He just does the dirty. Y'all ever do the dirty? I'm going to take Dak Faden. I could take Mana Leak, but we're never going to play Mana Leak, and I'd rather just have a Dak Faden, because some people don't deserve it. I'll take a Leovold, because for the same reason, really. Talarian Academy. <sighs> I mean, we're not going to play it, obviously. I think it's just Acidic Slime, but Jesus, why is it so late? Uh, I think I like Eternal Witness better than Regrowth here. Because you're just getting a 2-1 for one mana. That's just That's just a deal. There's Dark Confidant. Let's do the Cabal and Stip now. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it second to last pick in, uh, in third in pack three, so we can clearly do it now. Also, we do have a channel, so it's basically the same. And a, and a Phyrexian Metamorph, so it's basically the same stipulation. Hold on one second. All right. Last pick. Last pick was crop rotation. Fascinating. If we had dark depths, um, yeah. Cabal and Stip is confidence in your confidant. Do at your leisure. No rush. M me love you long time. Hello, fresh frogs. It's a lot of a lot of commentary in here. Also, mayonnaise. Dark confident over everything. Then fixing and power, and then all cards that can hurt you when played or cast. So, you know, is it reasonable to just cut blue? We have Botanical and Waterlogged Grove. I think we can cut this guy. This, If we do that, this is what we look like. And I'm more than happy playing 16 lands with Soul Ring and Draga Tree Speaker and Noble Hierarch. <sighs> I'm okay with it. Frank, don't do this. I'm not doing it. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um... <sighs> I don't know, Need's an interesting, interesting question, right? We have Ugin and Ulamog, and I'd love to just hard cast those, along with Woodfall Primus. So if, if somehow we get like turn four Timeless Lotus, or turn three Timeless Lotus, um, that's a turn four Ugin or Woodfall Primus. I mean, it just, it, it taps for five, right? I mean, we don't need the color, we just need the five mana. I want to put a stim and then he has to play all the cards. Well, <laughs> see, and this is why, this is why you guys donate for stips because otherwise I would just be miserable the whole time. And I'd be like, wow, I have to play all these cards. But why not playing? That's a good point. Yeah, we can just toss them in here. We can cast them off Timeless Lotus. So that makes sense. Oh, God. All right, so the question is... Look at all these good blue cards. Thieving Skydiver, Treachery, Inkwell Leviathan. Treachery is a free card. <laughs> that's true. God, that's so true. So true. But also, I just like being uh, mono green because... Having an abundance of forests means you just you're way more likely to be able to play channel on turn two. Plus, also, I'm gonna be honest, like if I'm able to channel turn two into a timeless lotus, that's still fine. I get to untap with eight mana. I mean, that's still pretty good. So it is it is just another um channel play, you know. 
Oh yeah, Rafelos as well. Yeah, and right. And if, if for every island, both our Rafelos and our channel get worse on turn two. So, you know, get out of here. Also, blue's kind of a shit color anyway, you know. Do I donate the money on here or whisper it to you? Sign up for HelloFresh instead. And give me that give me that sweet HelloFresh money. But in all seriousness, you guys should definitely check out HelloFresh. They're wonderful. And they're they're really they're really uh supporting the content creators. I've been main decking a lot of the one mana draw lands in this format. They've been pretty good. Yeah, for, I mean, I've just been doing it because they're fixers, right? Not because they draw the card. But that has been relevant a non-zero number of times. HelloFresh is my go-to meal solution. I'm not eating meatball subs with me. <laughs> so, some, me some memes just don't need to be brought back, you know? Blue is a great color when you don't share. Also, I, blue is not a shit color in any way, shape, or form. That was totally a... You know, it's a little, a little joke. Mayo posting is a staple there. I don't even know what mayo posting is, but that sounds terrible. Disgusting. Oh my god, how long, two minutes to for this queue, finally. Popping off, let's go. The meatball parm is their worst sandwich. Is this is this a you know, I'll be honest, when I used to eat more meat, I used to love the meatball parm, man. I will keep this hand. I feel like we don't lead with hell, with Hexdrinker. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course it makes sense. Leading with Hexdrinker means we can't play turn two Sylvan Library and Hexdrinker. Oh, I did a tilde instead of an exclamation mark. How fucking embarrassing. What a stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, you too, about to. Come on. Oh, they're in Fatal Push? Cool. Real mature, buddy. This is it because I tilled? It's because I tilded. <laughs> uh, the Meatball Palmer's the worst sandwich is actually a Dwight Schrute quote. Because Dwight Schrute orders the Meatball Parm and then Michael Scott eats it as 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 punishment. Uh, and then Dwight's like, I know that's why I ordered it. It's their worst sandwich. Yeah, that was the right, that was the right pick. <laughs> you little biscuit, you salty sea biscuit, you. Look at these two guys here. <laughs> the sandwich I just cut your bread the whole way. Yeah, can you cut that little triangle out of the top? That's really that's really what I want. Oh, good ancestral recall. We're having a good time. I hope they just don't have more removal. Really, if they don't have any more removal, that's all I want. No blocks, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Sourdough is the top tier bread. Actually, sourdough is the bread I, I get most uh, from... Oh, that was fascinating.
Fascinating. This is this looked like it went well for us. Um, yeah. What I was saying is sourdough is the the bread I get most from the grocery store. Um, the sliced bread I get most because it literally lasts the longest. Like if I get like white bread or wheat or you know whatever, it literally gets stale in like a week and a half. And rye bread lasts like or uh, sourdough lasts like three weeks, which is good because I really can't consume enough sandwiches. Uh, to finish a loaf of bread in a week and a half, so. Oh, that's really good. No, don't like that. Yeah, that's not great. Goodbye, derogatory speaker. What could we have done? That's just sad. I mean, there are three. We have some some beefy babies. This is weird that it's legendary, but whatever. I don't question the 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 legendary nature of of Eldraine. Bone shards. I'm fascinated. So I feel like they don't have a way to kill this guy. And once we untap, we just kill them, right? Well, I guess they go to one. They discarded a bloodstained mire for their shardies. Ugh, don't like that. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna sack the jitte. That's fascinating. Yep. Fascinating. Oh, that's less fascinating. Wow, they really, they've really done well for themselves after that ancestral recall. I mean, it's just metamorph copy the. Fiend? I feel like it has to be, honestly. Sure, I'll take this as your last playable card. Okay. Well, if we get a land, we get to the Citix line. Yeah, I definitely heard about Battle. I have no idea what it is. Battle being the new card type that was... Uh, so I guess announced... It was announced in <laughs> All Will Be One, but not 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 released in All Will Be One, I, I think. So they just top decked a dismember with enough mana to sounds good. I want to top deck something good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we go to nine. They can sack two. Put it to five. Yeah, this is going well. Yeah. This is, I'm, I'm actually, they did an ocean. I didn't see anything. I also don't have any notifications, unless you're scamming me. This Duretti was a very good draw for them. Um, I guess we'll just kill a flyer. I'm sure they'll deal us two, put us to seven. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. Yep, we're going to go to the next game. I I'm actually shocked that we lost this. Uh, I think they drew a fantastic combination of cards off of one of the strongest cards in the in the game of Magic the Gathering. But what can you do?
It came out of my PayPal. Interesting. Fascinating. I am fascinated. I'm looking into it. I'm checking out all the all the places it could be. Yep. I thought that was a very good start as well. So I'm kind of impressed. I think it's because I used this tilde instead of a, an exclamation mark. Wow, way to give away my last name on stream. Way to dox me. Unbelievable. Permaband. Look at this Mox Emerald. You're just taking a Mox Emerald. I do have a, a payment from Kyle's cards. So it is there. Nothing showed up, though. Did you just send it to me, like... Cool. <laughs> they fucking never have an answer for everything, dude. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. Make sure nothing resolves. Here comes the Duretti. Duretti Spaghetti. Oh, just, give, just that guy, I guess? Sure. Real mature, buddy. I hit the donate. This is so weird. I don't... It says completed, too, so it's not like it's uh, pending or anything, you know? You know what I mean? Uh, I will take four. So you got five cards in hand, huh? If we play Thran Dynamo, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. Which lets us play Huntmaster. And it's probably less fragile than Rafelos. Yeah, I think it's just Thran Dynamo. And we just assume they don't have Duretti, sack their own Mox Emerald, kill my Thran Dynamo. Fingers crossed, I guess? I, I don't know. It very well might be the one blue. It might be the one Steam Vents ancestral deck. Maybe they have a fetch. Shut line. up and take my money. Chugrind with the five dollar test. It did in fact work. Fucking amazing. That's literally exactly what I was hoping they didn't have. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Oh my god. Well, I guess we're getting rid of Woolmog here. Discarding a card. Interesting. Yeah. We're doing well. Jesus, talk about the, the never don't have it, man. This is wild. Yep. Now what? Um, probably Corsair, because I think we just have to play Rafelos and hope it survives. Otherwise, we just don't. Because we have to, like, kind of play towards Huntmaster here. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, look, they have a second blue source. No, that's not even. That's an Abzan. Wow. That's hilarious. I don't know what that is. That's really weird. <laughs> I agree with you. Oh, sweet. This seems safer now than a Rafelos. <laughs> uh, I might just chump block now. I don't feel like Eternal Witness is doing us any favors, and I'd rather just have... Look at that. Look at that crazy beast. Guarantee your opponent is a narc. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We all know. Okay, at least they can't sacrifice my artifacts. You know, that's really the important thing. Here comes a channel already. Oh, Woodfall Primus, is that good? 
Is that better than to Tovalar? Shut up and take I don't my money. know. Rat Daddy with a five dollar testicle. Fast fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> Okie dokie. So it's either Woodfall Primus destroying like I don't know, probably in Dotha Triome. I think I like the number of bodies here. Oh, also I can't play Woodfall Primus because I don't have enough mana. So really, let's let's make sure we we take that into account. Do you think they have bone shards in hand? I think they 100% have bone shards in hand. In before a bone shards, as the kids say. No one says that. I apologize for misleading you. Ms. Miric Fiend, enjoy your Woodfall Primus. This guy got reach? No. No blocks. Fascinating. So in order to do the wolf fight, we need four mana. So we play this. Next turn, we're going to fight both of those Thopters. I mean, that's assuming they don't play anything right now. They might kill a wolf right now. Yeah. Oh, a dismember. That's good. <laughs> so now we don't flip. And, yeah. Oh, wait. What? Oh, if a player casts... Wait. If, if a player casts no spell... If a player casts no spells during their own turn. Wow, that's so much more confusing than what it was. Yeah, it's 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 still kind of confusing. Like I have to read it every single time. It might be better this way. I, I think it is more confusing, but maybe that's what's needed for it to be better, you know? Okay, so choose another wolf or werewolf you control. Just targeting my face, sure. This gives us a lot of control next turn because we can actually use our wolf to. Yeah, this guy's kind of a beating. This is amazing. Because next turn we get to untap, make two more wolves, fight both Mesmeric Fiend and P and Kieran Alar. Hmm. This is a lot of things happening. I'm okay with this. Yeah, this is fine. Am I missing something here? Wow, 
Wow, this card is really strong. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. That's hilarious. All right. Well, next turn could be good if Rafelos is able to survive for one turn. One turn. This is so, this is so, I, I'm like, I, I, I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, wow. This guy has the empty joke card drawing algorithm locked in his base basement. Oh, cool. I have a 7-7 seven seven with three 2-2s. Two I'll have Damnation. And then I'll follow it up with a Phyrexian Revoker with the exact amount of mana to cast both and lock you out of Thran Dynamo, despite you having two 8-drops in your hand. <laughs> I don't even have an 8. Like, I can't even... Oh, you played a Rafelos. I have a Blood Chief's Thirst con conveniently and also enough mana to play Croxa from my graveyard. I, 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 I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's like sometimes it's like you... Can't even get mad because, good lord, how, how is it a real, it wasn't even a real game. Like, I don't know, man. Oh, a Draga Tree Speaker, eh? I'll play an Umazawa's Jute on my Mesmeric Fiend and kill it. <laughs> Flabbergasting. League matchmaking failed. Sorry, guys. Guys, please go to HelloFresh and get the 21 free meals that they're offering you, along with free shipping with my promo code. HelloFresh is pretty sweet. Me and Katie have gotten them several times, and we've enjoyed them every single time. And it's only like literally 30 bucks a meal. Not 30 bucks a meal. 30 bucks for like six meals, which is like $5 a meal. And they're actual like good quality meals. And if you're not getting them, you're kind of silly. I will keep this hand. So there's a real problem here because we have an Ulamog in the channel, but we don't have a second green. But I guess we can cast it. So is it, is it Soul Ring or is it Tree Speaker here? Hello, Fresh guys. Do it. They give me a great kickback. If you want to support the channel, definitely subscribe to Hello Fresh. You can cancel at any time. Just get your first box. You can cancel if you want, if you don't enjoy it, if you don't think it's for you. Totally fine. You literally invest like 30 bucks and then you never have to invest anymore. Invest. In it. He says he's calling it investing when it's a meal service. I think we're going to start with Sol Ring. We don't have a guarantee that we're going to draw land, but this at least lets us play Wall of Roots. So. Oh, what up, Jeeves? Or is it Geeves? Tricky, tricky. Tree Speaker only lets us turn to Ulamog if we draw a forest, but then Channel also does that. You know what I mean? Like.
Not to bash your sponsor, but my only gripe with the recipes is how many dirty dishes they produce. That's just cooking. Come on, buddy. Now you're just now you're just upset about cooking. Yeah, tree speaker does not tap for mana unless you level it up. No, it does. It's a one one for one. But once you level it up, then you're in the big leagues. The beautiful big leagues. Fascinating. Mmm, fascinating. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to level you up, you know, for fun. And then we're going to do, we're going to do this jobby here. You like this jobby? Oh, boy. I am very tempted to pay 19 life and play both Ugin and Ulamog. <laughs> Against the red deck, though, it feels worse, I'll be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful boy. Let's get rid of the white land and your second red source, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this is significantly just better than a signet. It gives them a third color mana. It also gives them double red. I guess, I guess if you get the signet, it does too, but they have to actually use a mana to get into this, which gives them a very specific number of colors. So they have to use a color to, yeah, okay, they, we didn't even have to play anything else. They were like, you know what? That'll do. See, that's how our game should have went. Oh, snap, keep that. Soul ring. See, this is not a channel hand. This is just a middle of the road. Oh, that, I, I, oh my God. I was literally saying we could play Questing Beast on turn two in my head. And now we can. Wow, turn two questing beast, turn three plow under. Mm. Oh, they're just gonna kill my soul ring. No, they're not gonna kill my soul ring. <laughs> oh boy. Look at this fat animal. See, the thing is like, I feel like their priority is dealing with Questing Beast. So if they play something, it's likely going to be an answer to Questing Beast and not to Soul Ring. And then the turn after that, we can spend our five mana on a Sylvan Library and Internal Witness. So we got a kind of a, a lot of a lot of good things happening. Abbot of Carol Keep. Underworld Breach. I'm fascinated. I'm about to pay for a stiff to cast Plow Under twice this game. Well, unfortunately, that would not happen. The game has ended. Okay, well, <laughs> that's, that was exciting. They saw their one card combo get exiled and they were like, nah, I'm good. Peace. Now the opponent owes me money. Yeah, that's true. You want me to message them and be like, hey, you owe you owe Tiger Nate some money, because he was gonna donate to have me do something to you, and you denied him that. 
All right, so Kyle, just to be clear, your step is play all the cards. I just want to make sure I get it right. Because that's... It's pretty brutal. See, what you do when you do the play all the cards step is you draft a lot of lands early. <laughs> so that... You only get good, you, so you can cast all your stuff. Oh, with with two cuts? That seems better. Play all the cards sounds like both a fun and unfun step. I agree with you. I agree with you. Three vetoes? Okay, I'll say two to three vetoes. That seems fair. You also have to play with all the basics you own in your MTGO account. That's That might be the deal breaker. Honestly, if this were fellow sticks, I am very happy with this hand. Assuming we draw one forest, which we literally just did. All right, blue cards is good for Rafelos if they don't have a counter spell. Okay, that's worse. Oh, it insta resolved. Oh wow, they F sixed. That's that's good for us. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 it's all happening. Okay. Whew, I got the vapors. All right. Uh, six mana, huh? It's got to be this, right? Oh, if they mana drain. That's not a mana drain. Oh, buddy. Pretty, 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 pretty good. That's like a man of drains ugly cousin. Yeah, it's true. That's true. You hideous bastard. No, don't do that. Don't do that. This is so much mana. Holy, holy magolies. Um, okay. Uh, this breaks even, right? We pay five to gain five. So this is just free. This is just free mana. We'll start with this guy because this is going to net us something. So we have, what, four here, seven, nine. I mean, it might just be it just might just be Hunt Master. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close. We could play both of these, but come on, we don't need to do all that. All right. Well, that'll do, I guess. Mm. So even if they go like damnation, like we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. <laughs> oh, you old bastard. No, don't like that. Okay. Pest infestation. One time. One time. 
That's not what I was looking for. Why would you give me that? On the bright side, they don't have any other wolves or anything, so it's not like... Ooh, Steel Seraph. Interesting. Is this right? No, hold on. Yeah, I think it has to be right. Because um, we can't play Timeless Lotus. We're one mana shy. <sighs> All right, well. Right, they can't make you... They have no wolves. Oh, but I mean, like, you're saying if it flips? Yeah, that makes sense. They do need green. I still don't want them to get, like, a million wolves by attacking, but I guess we just block. I don't know. I'm no... I'm no expert. They call him Dr. Worm. That's... That's true. <laughs> that's correct. Guys, I just got an email about a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship again. Should I do it? Should I get that Raid Shadow Legends cheddar? Eric, stop, stop it. Stop it. No one likes it when you do this. I'll just jump block. I'm not going to take six here. All right, see, now we're living the dream. So, hmm. How much mana is this? Uh, enough? Plenty. Plenty is the answer. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Fat worm daddy. Uh, cast it normally. Give this guy float, right? Might as well get in there. If giving your worm coil engine flying is wrong, I don't want to be right. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys knew, but this kills treachery, so. I feel like we're we're attacking from a, a lot of satisfying angles here. Oh, nothing. They have done nothing. Hmm. So I'm gonna go to combat. Because I don't want to, like, like, if they have, like, Cryptic Command, if that's their answer, to tap down the team. Uh, flying. Let's go to attacks. Two floaty boys. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of life we just gained. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big Woody. Oh, it just resolves. Fascinating. I'm fascinated by what's going on here. I feel like we're way ahead. Because even if the Damnation, Woodfall Primus and Worm Coil are sticking around. What does this do? Are you just thirsting? This might be just a thirst because you're not going to be able to repeal. You can't repeal Treachery. You don't have enough, right? One, two, three, four, five. You're one short. Do they? Oh, yes, they can. Oh, man. Magic is hard. Yeah, I'll just pass here, I guess. Actually, might as well play the Lotus, right? Mm. 
Oh, okay. Well, we, we can only deal two, I guess, so we can't kill anything super relevant. <laughs> no channel. Sorry. You're 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 stuck at home today, buddy. Okay. I mean, it still feels okay. I have three six sixes. You got to spin the wheel on Urza if you don't have anything, right? I don't understand what's going on. You gonna get float? Channel for 26, past turn. A bold strategy. That Snapcaster is getting float. Lifelink. Sounds good. Ugin. Oh, Sylvan Library. I guess we knew that. You like that I'm calling cards even though I know what's on the top? They're at seven. I don't know if they die, but it's probably not going to end great. I feel like they have to do a bit of blocking here. What is this? <sighs> That's annoying. You got it. Fascinating. Are they just going to one? Oh, God, giving Hallbreaker Horror like lifelink or flying is insane. I actually wish I didn't play this because then the 7-7 seven, seven would actually, I would have more wolves and I would be able to fight their things. I, I think that was a huge misplay on my part playing the Timeless Lotus, to be honest. We could have actually killed their Urza with by double fighting it. Yeah, I, I think that's going to cost us the game, to be honest. I did. It's right here. <laughs> oh boy, that's uh, that's a bingo. We're looking for Ugin, and then we're gonna negative. Not enough. We're gonna bounce the Fellows. What about the Woodfall Primus? So <laughs> That's a good choice, actually. That's a very good choice. Wow. I, 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 we can't win this game now. That's shockingly frustrating. Oh, one turn away. Actually, negative seven. Would that have done anything? I think we should have just stuck. Oh, wow. Now I feel silly. Excel each point with mana value X or less. That's one or more colors. These are black, right? So it's a black zombie. So negative seven gets rid of this, 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 treachery, Urza. We get our Steel Seraph back. We get to keep all our artifacts. And then we'd have a Worm Coil, presumably. I mean, I, we don't know if it would have resolved, but man. God, no matter how many times you tell yourself to play it out, don't concede. It's hard to fight that frustration. so hard like once you get in that like kind of 
almost tilted mode where it's like the game is an uphill battle. It's extremely frustrating. Like, I feel like I'm too far behind to ever come back. Like, it's very hard to fight that and be like, I'll just keep clicking the buttons and playing, I guess. Because it just feels like you're fighting the inevitable. It feels like it's a losing battle. Even though sometimes it's not, because that's how magic is. It's really hard to, like, to fight that feeling. Oh my god, really? Why? Why? I don't understand. Like, we don't see a counterspell the entire first game. And then they have it... The, the turn they needed. In the, I don't understand. Like, oh, it's so frustrating. Yeah, if they had any instant, they could bounce Ugenwaltz on the stack. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Like, it wasn't just a foregone conclusion. Any land here seems pretty good. Oh, double the double mox deck. Cryptic command. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, oh, oh no, I, I'll nope. Nope, don't want to pay two. The most perfect, the most perfect thing. <laughs> two, one, two, three. That's interesting, but not great. I guess it's Huntmaster, right? Are you sure? Don't they ask you twice, don't they? I mean, does it, does anyone really quit magic? Hmm, that's interesting. Might as well just keep getting in there with this guy. Oh, I think they've F6 here. Okay, that seems good. Upheaval after stealing my Woodfall Primus seems very strange. I'm not sure I would recommend that strategy, but... Kyle, I just got notification on the donation, so... Good to, good to know it finally came through.
Yep, that's a that's a seven with protection from everything, my friend. I'm waiting for them to find the answer, the perfect answer. You ever think I should drink a protein shake, but then eat a slice of cheese instead? God, more than I'd like to admit. Let's assume you have days. If they have damnation, we get our Woodfall Primus back, and that seems bad for them. Okay. Yep, you got it. Oh, we still get the wolves, though. That's pretty cool. So, tons of blockers for Woodfall Primus. And also, if we triple, if we just block to kill this guy, we get it back. Yeah, that first match that we got blown out with was the. Is this just Hullbreaker Horror? Time Spiral. Okay. <clears throat> so Ugin just kills you if we get to untap with it. All right. Well, fingers crossed, I guess. Beautiful. Did they not float a mana? They don't have anything floating, but they have seven, so they should have actually tapped. No, they couldn't have done that. Well, could they? No, it doesn't matter. Just main phase Hallbreaker Horror. What does that do? <laughs> I mean, okay, that's still fine. I don't understand what that does. Repeal the other. No, ponder. Bounce another thing. Sure. Okay, I'm going to assume that that's got to be the end. That's very good, though. Mox into ponder. I mean, yeah, Hex Drinker is still going to... Uh, I don't think we're dead to trample. No, we have four blockers. Oh, but this guy, if they're going to attack with that guy, um, that might change things. Thank you. Three, four, five, six. No, I think we go to one here. Chump, block, block. Uh, actually, we might as well do this. So we're taking three from here and three from here. Shoves Jr., thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Kerwood, I appreciate it, buddy. This is that 1440p. I mean, Time Spiral into Hullbreaker Horror, into Mox, into Ponder is pretty good. Uh, I should have actually hit the black, but, I, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it actually has no relevance whatsoever. Yeah, we're just styling with that. Oh, their deck seems way more frustrating than I expected it to. I kind of like Thieving Skydiver, to be honest. Um, I wonder if it's worth putting in a couple of islands, these two lands. Thieving Skydiver. Is that too cute? I don't know. I, I think we're actually fine. Yeah, I agree. Like, if we draw Pest Infestation, it seems very good against them. It takes out Treachery. It takes out both their Moxes.
this seems good. We'll keep it. Interesting. Let's see if they shuffle. They chose to not shuffle. They were like, no, no. <laughs> oh, they got the fear. Okay. Well, now they can't miss. They can't. Uh, oh, fucking crying out loud. That's amazing. Okay, now they can't. That feels good, I guess. Is this guy dead? Probably. That's rude. Channel? No channel? Okay. Try it again. This is where they go land treachery. Or any, they're just going to treachery their fellows. Oh, they did not. Oh, that's exciting. Wow, this is just... This is just the rudest you could possibly be, I think. Channel one time. Yeah, just for fellas again, I guess. <laughs> Eventually they gotta run out of answers, right? Oh boy. And then we get eight mana. Just play something stupid that doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. That'll do. Beautiful. One more land and we get to Ulmog. Carnage? <laughs> uh, homage, sir. Oh, don't look at the pores on my nose. God, that's so... Oh my god, that's so invasive. Oh, it's another land. That's neato. Neato. <laughs> Six, twelve. Oh, fascinating. Did they miss land drops? What if they treachery? We don't care, right? Yeah, we'll get rid of this. Let me guess. That guy? Sure. Ugin goes to a, to eight. But then if we negative five him to get rid of the treachery. I mean they have to hit a land here, and they didn't they've been missing land drops. <laughs> that's I mean that's fine. You gotta do. Now we're gonna plow under and kill this, and then I think that's gonna be the end. Yeah, this game is has just ended. Guys, make sure you check out HelloFresh. It's good food. It's good food fast. So six. Bop and a bop. Uh, do, 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 do. One, two, three. Put them away. Okie dokie. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Sometimes Ugin is just too much for you. 
I'm making HelloFresh tonight. That's awesome. See, people like it. Definitely check it out. It's a great way to support the channel. Uh, they give me a great kickback for each subscription you guys get. And you're getting 21 free meals plus free shipping on your first eight deliveries. Katie and I ordered about six meals. They came at about 30 bucks, $28 uh, total out the door. So less than $5 a meal. It's a really, really sweet service. Um, the food is high quality. The food is tasty. And you can literally cancel after the first week or two if you don't like it. So there's really no commitment. But it, for 30 bucks, it's a great way to support the channel because they give me a sizable kickback for each subscription. So definitely a way to help the channel out and get some free food in the process. Thank you guys for watching, though. Slam those like buttons, the subscribe buttons. Do the things. You know what they say. Thank you. Oral, I appreciate you, buddy. I fell asleep right before my stip and woke up an hour later. I'm rewatching it now. <laughs> Oral, let me know if it's okay. Uh, I tried to... I, I tried to consider uh, cast abilities like Emrakul entering the battlefield too because it's kind of like, it's very similar. But let me know. But I'm going to get out of here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.